looks like we've uh, gotten back into this game pretty nicely. Only down by four at this point. Well, Kev, Shit! In the last matchup against the Celtics, had a nice performance. He picked up ten points, and did he ever have active hands on defense? Stealing, blocks, both this game that night. A game like this just illustrates the success this team has enjoyed this season. What a special back here. year, guys. Good job as always, Doris. Thank you, guys. What was your take on his performance? Kevin, I really Come on. Like left it Where are you going? On the floor. I'll, I'll say this. It, it was a great, hard charging effort. Guys, when he's on, nobody's uh, more fun to watch. And so much bouncing in this game. In that game. Like, uh, the heat trail I, don't six. That, I don't watch a lot they of basketball in real life, but possession. Yeah, they've had a number of the, bounce, the ball seems to bounce a lot a more in this game than it did in past the games. Offensive rebound. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. One ten left in the first half. No. Oh. Young's <sighs> shot is off. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Outside Dragic. And there's the three second violation. God damn it. I'm trying to get out of there. Your screen now or the I was like locked. The small forward spot during the Couldn't get out of it. Season, a very strong defensive group to say the least. Second, Joe Johnson. I knew and it was coming. This is the set of guys that can do as much or more damage with their defense as they can Oof. with their offense. They know how to swoop in for a steal from anywhere on the floor. It would be nice to find a steal nice shot to see where they're getting all their pilfers from. And these are small forwards, though, who play 94 feet of defense. Nets leading by four. And with the time left, they still can go two Whoa. for one. Boy, they've got to do it fast. They must hurry from here. Hit by Barnett. Fuck, Johnson fuck. with it. Out of ended by three. Run to their entire team. What? Unloads from 13. The animation Johnson threw me off. The bucket. Johnson's got six points. Miami's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. Whatever happened back there threw me way off course. Rogic against Johnson. Here's Freak, drilled from 11 feet out. Freak's got four this quarter. Ooh. That's pretty tough right there. Jack for three. No good on the buzzer beater. All right. So at the, the end of the half, half looks like we're down by four. So far. Kevin, Hopefully we, we can make a climb, make a run in the third quarter. Got to skip all this halftime nonsense, though. Come on. Get past it. And welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round one matchup. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Bargnani. And in terms of points in that first half, you know, he's now at a point where Let's roll. And the Nets we are down by change. 13 points. Holy crap. Thaddeus Young. You're gonna he's lose checked that. in for Brooke Lopez. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Jared Jack is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Johnson. Then it's Bargnani. Okay. And it's Young in at the power forward position. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Dragic kicks to Wade. Wade going for the shot good. gets it in. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got his third assist on the night. Got 11 points. Brooklyn leading by 13. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. I think it was really scary. That mascot right there. Look at him. Bargnani against Whiteside. I think he's From scaring the, feet away. the ref there. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Not a lot of resistance. Scaring me a little bit. On the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Greg, the play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Wait, 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 wait. Freak sets a screen for Dragic. Right side. No Couldn't go. make that. That's a surprise. I mean, really, I'm going to go for that last shot of the quarter. When the defense is <laughs> not right up on it. 
Definitely don't think we're going to win this one. I think it's way too far to reach. And we welcome you back to our coverage of round one in the NBA playoffs. The Heat trail by 15. Dragic is joined in the backcourt by Wade. Whiteside is out there with Dang. And it's Freak in at the three. That's the group on the four for Miami. Brooklyn oh, the come on. Jack with it. He dishes it to Young. Good D by Wade. Miami's gotten fewer than half of their three pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. And a wide open Boom. One for Freak. Thank you. Drops one in from the wing. Freak's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Miami. And Barney. Okay. Well, down. that's not good. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular Come on. fashion. And you know that lead's only Come going on. to grow if they're not prepared Come on. to defend. A little more staunchly than that. Boom! Throws it down. Boy, I really love the dunk. Rocket spreads that ball around. Look at that replay, a which shows like the end of the dunk. The Didn't even show the entire play, play, but here's Jack. Let's see if we can step this it up in this quarter. Get into the game a bit. Whoa! Here's Bargnani, and Correct. that's going to be a flagrant foul. Flagrant. Oh, shit. Content. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him he get missed. away with that oh, well. kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down. All right. Well, looks like we get a and here is shot, Chalmers. I guess. He kicks it to Freak. What? See, I can't Jack. do dribble moves at all. They'll get taken. Fuck you. Take your stupid shots. And the first one drops. Jared Jack. And Jared Jack yeah. drops them both. Well, it looks like we lost this game. <sighs> and so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing game one of the playoffs has uh, been lost by right 15 fucking like this in the series. Holy Holy shit. Momentum. Well, Joe, congrats. The two oh, shit, I can hear music in the game show. Hurry up. Short copyright speed. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson. Yeah, we don't care about the postseason, Shaq boys. He had an outstanding post. third quarter. Whatever conference. they needed in care. terms of energy and offense, he was. We don't the care. And that will wrap up this round one broadcast. Where my cat go? She was over here. She ran away. Hey, cat. No. Whoa. Hey. 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 Stop being so loud. Shut up. I know money isn't everything to you, freak. And I find it hard to say this, but I've grown to respect that in you. You're a man of conviction. But it's my responsibility to point out the consequences of that way of thinking. Now, for you, winning is everything. But winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or, at the very least, competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing good health. And we all know that's not a guarantee. Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors, but if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm gonna call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm gonna get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're gonna love the free agency experience. Now, your relationship with Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested, we now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Have you been in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is this? Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. 
You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. Cece? Woo, Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. <sighs> okay, Freak. Now, there are our very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the markets, the greater resources at your disposal and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, Freak. Thanks, Don. Absolutely. Team Freak. That's what we're about. Oh, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? what? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm gonna lose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks you're going to lose, Rick. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Capiche. Also, you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Mm. <laughs> well, you guys have made this decision so much easier. What did mom and dad say? You know what they said. I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord, help us. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. You know him. He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me. Oh, snap. What's happening here? You are now free agent. Choose three teams you are interested in. Negotiate if you think you can get a bit of deal, but be careful how hard you push. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty cat. Kitty. <clears throat> a return to the Trailblazers from last year. Hmm. A return to the Trailblazers. That could be very interesting. Or we could go to the Bulls. Mm. I'm gonna have to go with the Trailblazers, I think, though. Round one. Oh, what do they got? Uh, 295, 280, 285 for the Trailblazers? Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know what hold means, but... Negotiate that one. Negotiate on that one. Negotiate more minutes. Hold on that one. Oof. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. So, they up me the, the playing time. More money. Hold. Negotiate. <laughs> One more. One more round, then we'll do the, the, do the decision. Wow. <clears throat> you know, I think I might have to stick with Miami. They got the second most uh, playing times, so or they got the most money per game. Roster. The roster. I could play with Anthony Davis, though. Over here, they got Lillard still over here, but they don't have uh, anybody else really anymore. This team has a bunch of 80s, so that's not bad at all. I'd like to thank everyone for coming here today. 
I especially like to thank God, my Lord and Savior, my family, my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti, twin sister and manager, Cece, my lady. Thank you guys for all your support. I'd also like to thank all the fans um, and all the people out there who consider themselves an FOF, a friend of free. My free agency has been nothing short of amazing. And frankly, it has been a dream come true. But like most dreams, the reality is very different from what I imagined. Though I wouldn't change a thing about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult than choosing where to play next year. I sought the wise counsel of my loved ones. Nothing puts me at ease more than knowing that regardless of my decision, you guys will be there for me no matter what. Now, there are so many wonderful teams in the league, each field with stellar talent and all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning and surrounding myself with those who feel just as passionately about the game as I do and have an unrelenting desire to win a championship ring. That's what matters most to me. It's for this reason I decided to take my talents to South Beach, Miami Heat. I don't like that LeBron James like line, but whatever. We went with the the Miami Heat just because I think they give me the the best ground for playing time and money. And I think it's a it's good to have a change of scenery. <laughs> 